Peanut butter won't eat. Who? Oh. Fucking gator you sold me. Won't eat. Why'd you name it peanut butter? Because I fed him peanut butter once and he didn't eat it. So I named it him peanut butter. Her. The fuck you just say? Peanut butter's a girl. How the fuck you know that? On account of the lack of penis and the presence of a clitoris that peanut butter had when I sold you peanut butter. Well, now I want to return peanut butter for two goddamn reasons. You got your receipt? You didn't give me no fucking receipt, man. I didn't give you no receipt, because I don't take no returns. Well, make them in the boots, then. Her. Motherfucker, I'm not... Make her into boots, then. Not a service I offer. And besides, peanut butter... A little small to be making in the boots, don't you think? That's because peanut butter won't fucking eat. Look, man, bottom line, I don't take animals back, comprende? Now, I gotta go make those two horses fuck. So if we could be down here, that'd be great. Skin than regular color skin. So we gotta go to the hospital. I don't go to hospitals. You know, my Uncle Rick didn't go to hospitals either. Got a splinter at work one time, thought he could put Neosporin on it, go right back to being an asshole. And then he gets an infection. Well, you know what he got for it. Nice, baby. What? What did he get? Dead. He got fucking dead. Wayne, we gotta go to the hospital. We can't. These people looking for us. Um. Hey, you guys got any ice? Yeah, I actually got something much better. Oh my God. Something much better. <laughs> drugs. I don't take drugs. Oh, sure you do. <laughs> yeah, my dad got a bunch of really good shit after his botched post-divorce vasectomy. Open up. Mm. Mm. Never thought I'd do this to you guys before, but put it in your mouth. Guys, maybe we can like wrap it in cheese or some shit. Mm. Oh, come on, just, just take it. Take it, take it, take it. If you want to like hook up or anything, that's totally fine because I won't hear anything because I'll have these giant earmuffs on my ears, also known as Jenny's thighs. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, go ahead, thanks. I think we're good. Come on, baby. <laughs> What a waste of a pretty face, what a waste that face, that face, what a waste, what a waste of a pretty face. Good morning. Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Like you wanna roll me up in a fucking rug. I'm just happy to see you. Why in a tub? You're in a tub, you know. Why in a tub? I couldn't sleep with Jenny and Trish going at it all night. I swear, I think I heard Jenny say she lost a tooth in the middle of it. What? You're pretty. Wait a sec. You're high as shit. Oh, you took another pill, mister. I don't take drugs. Fucking dad is here. What? Everything be totally fucking sad. Dad, you got science? Oh, I should introduce myself. Wait, I, mean, just, just, I have to get down. Just a sec, Dad. I'm putting in a tampon. Don't. Sir, I'm Wayne. It's an honor. Whoa. Hey, man. Well, you must be Jenny's boy. You're a boy. 
Thank you for letting me stay here in your really nice home. Although, if I'm being honest, I went upstairs in the nighttime and ate a bunch of your sandwich meats for that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Think nothing of it. Think nothing of it. I, I want to thank you for taking my daughter to the dance. I mean, you are welcome here anytime. <laughs> oh, no, sir. Your daughter and the lesbian girlfriend friend, they went to the dance together because they're lesbians. I went with my friend, though. We're not lesbians, but... Yeah, it was an honor, sir. Did you just out me to my fucking dad? Huh? The fuck did she just say? The the uh, the hoary one with the mustache and the hat. She said the white old ball fuck will always have her hat. I bet she's banging that guy with the boat. A fucking rack on her though, right? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Mr. Lucchetti. Oh, Jesus Christ, these fucking knob jobs. Let me guess. The two of you, you jumped into your smart car, right? And then you drove down here as fast as you could just to tell me that you didn't find my daughter again, right? Nissan Leaf, sir. What? That's a car? It's a fucking ferry car for fucking ferries. If 151 miles per battery charge makes me a ferry, then fit me for a pair of wings. Now, we following up on last night's event when you were savaged by the school children. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what? Slow your fucking roll, Ginger, okay? Nobody beat me up. There was like 50 of those little fucking shits running all over the place. Like little people, but not that type of little. It's still very powerful in large numbers. You know, I blame you for this. This is your fucking fault. Yours, motherfucker. Yours. Patty, you were right. The hat lady is banging the guy in the boat. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. You know what? You go down into the fucking hallway and you find that fucking nurse lady with the goddamn sideburns. Yeah. And you find me some fucking morphine and you get it now. The both of you go. Get the fuck out of that wheelchair. Go on, go on, go on. Jeez. Mr. Lucchetti. Listen to me, you fucking British dipshit. You British? If you had done your job, I wouldn't be tracking my kidnapped daughter all over the goddamn country and sitting in a fucking hospital bed. Now pipe down. All right. If you want to find your daughter, sharing information is only going to work to our advantage, yeah? Okay. Okay, yeah, all right. Come here. Hey, what, you can start your job by following through and checking out how many visitors you're allowed to have in this fucking hospital, because I'm pretty sure that it's not fucking 12! Damn, you went the other way with that one. Let me know if you think of anything helpful, Mr. Lucchetti. Yeah, why don't you go fuck yourself? Somebody in this fucking white shit box, get me some fucking drugs or a fucking drink, something! Or some weed, or some fucking cocaine. We're in Georgia. Not the most pleasant man in the world, huh? Yeah, I seen worse. <laughs> so, I gotta get in there and update these reporters in a few. What's the status of his injuries? A couple of broken bones, collapsed lung. Not clinging to life or anything. At least he's from out of town and I don't have to put up with any visitors. A lot of times, the only people who visit assholes are other assholes. Hmm. So has anybody come to see him since he's been here? Not that I've seen. Yeah. All right, thanks, guys. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm about to make a star out of this chicken and star soup, you know what I mean? I don't. Hey, your father, what you told me... You two didn't exactly have the most smooth sailing relationship, huh? Well, Pops, you could definitely say that. If he wasn't beating on me, he was beating on my sisters. Son of a bitch was mean all the way to his grave. So no love lost there? No, well, I love him. He was a pain in the ass, but I still miss him every fucking day. He's still my Pops. Hey, Sarge, you got a moment? Come on, this licorice is huge. It'll last forever. I don't think it's got coffee you're stuffing with. Like vitamins and all that. Like orange juice and pretzels. Pretzels don't got vitamins? I'm pretty sure they do. Right. Pretzel vitamins. No big licorice. I gotta piss wicked. You pick, but I expect you to have big pretzel vitamin muscles when I come back. 
what can only be described as a full scale brawl broke out at this school function last night. Guys. Police are trying to understand why a group of teenagers from a local high school transformed into a violent, angry mob, leaving one Boston man clinging to life. We don't have all the details as to what role the victim, one Bobby Lucchetti, played in the incident, but we are looking for thoughts and prayers because, well, it could go either way. There are unconfirmed reports of two other victims who were also transported to the hospital. I'll also take this licorice. Oh my God. Oh. Jesus. It smells like everything died in there. What's this? Licorice. I know, but why? I wanted it. Oh, you are a gentleman. We going? Bucks get you? What? Your dad's in the hospital. How do you know? I saw it on the nose in the store. It must be real bad, I guess. They're asking people to pray and stuff, so. Fuck him. I gotta say goodbye to my dad. I'm just thinking it might be good, you know, for you. You know, I'm not saying that he's, well, you know, he might be. Should be careful. You nervous? No, no, I'm good. He thinks so, you know, coming in, disappointing me or whatever. What, you mean not coming to the hospital? I can't do that. Well, why the hell not? Well, people are dying there. Yeah, I know. Dell. on these hospital socks is unreal. Jay, we need to stay alert, okay? I'm starting to feel like this plan is a big old waste of time. Yeah, I don't know. We've been one step behind at every turn. Maybe it's time we let them come to us, huh? I mean, that's counting on a lot of things. These kids gotta watch the news, and even then, Dale's gotta care about her father enough to stick her neck out for his crazy ass. Yeah, you said it yourself. Never underestimate how complicated that father-child bond can be, okay? Like I could walk up a wall in these bad boys. Yeah, well, physics will prove you wrong. <laughs> Shit, my bad. Just uh, feeling a little upset over here. Let me get you something: cookies, chips, anything you want. Ah, you know what? Too late, you got cookies. There you go. Uh, thanks. 
Hey, man. Sit. Hang out. You ever get a girl pregnant? No? Well, I fucking did. Yep. 19 of my life's fucking over. All right, fucking pee. You know how young that is? 19. Fucking young, bro. I mean, I'm a kid still. Fuck. You ever been bungee jumping? Huh? Me neither. What about water skiing? You ever been water skiing? Fuck, that sounds fun, doesn't it? What about sushi? You ever tried sushi? No. No? What about a water buffalo? Ever seen one of them? Oh, God. Fuck. I'm fucking dying over here. Dying? He's dying. You need to get yourself together. I will restrain you. I ain't kidding. Why won't you give me something for the fucking pain? Oh, hey, you're supposed to be helping me out. I need some fucking morphine. I can't give painkillers to an alcoholic. Did you just call me? I did not call you anything. Who the hell did? Whoever the hell filled out your intake forms. Why? The fuck did you say I was an alcoholic? We didn't. I just said that you enjoy eight drinks a day. You said what? We can't lie. These are official government papers. We could get sequestered. Are you fucking kidding me? Stab the yoker. Oh, that's it. Stab me. Fucking I eyeball down. I don't want to get scared. Scared. Fucking idiot. Oh, you big cock. I'm awake. I'll burn down this fucking hospital. I'll fuck every nurse, including the fucking male ones. Swear to God, you two are not my fucking kids. I don't know who you fucking are. Tres leches means three milks. These little butter cookie bitches are addictive. You ever do cocaine? I did cocaine once. God, I love cocaine. How old are you again? Fifteen. Fuck me. Man, that's what I'm talking about. Jumping on the back of that thing, leaving the bullshit behind, living like an outlaw. <sighs> that guy's got it made. Never know. My dad didn't stick around. It turned out all right. Maybe better. We don't know, right? In my life when I was five, my dad stayed. Didn't have to, but he did. Wasn't always the best dad, but he stayed. How many girls you had sex with? Huh? I think I'm up to nine. No, wait. Tanya Boyd. Ten. Ten? We gotta go to the packy. Well, hello there. Who's this, Jago? It's Bradley. He's having a baby. Sucks for him. Yeah, it does. We gotta go get bows. Fuck yeah, we do. Well, what about your dad? Is he in there? Yes. And? He's not dead. So why are we getting booze? We should go now. I'm gonna get some Jaeger. Ooh, we should get cocaine, maybe? Why is he here? Can you any cookies? Can he buy his booze? Yeah, I got a fake ID. Says I'm a foot taller and 40 pounds fatter. Can we just hurry the fuck up, please? Do not get her pregnant. What the 
hell are you making? Is that milk? Half and half. It's a Cape Cod coolie. My dad invented it. Sometimes during the summer, if we had a little extra money, my dad would rent a trailer from his friend Big Fuck. Was Big Fuck big? Very. They'd park it down at the trailer park down by the beach for a couple days, swimming and all that. I really think it was just a bunch of ingredients Big Fuck had lying around the trailer, but my dad would let me make these for him. I thought it was cool because it was 9 or 10 and it was booze, but probably just let me make them because he's lazy. Dal. Dal, wait. Dal. Oh, God, that's rude. Dal. Dal, I'm coming with you. No, I don't want you to now. Dal. No, I don't want you to catch a cold or some shit. I don't like hospitals because of my dad. Because they told me he was going to die in the hospital, and he only got sick in the hospital. And they told me he was never going to get better there, and nothing ever worked when they tried to make him better. So it just makes me remember all this. I just don't like him. But I went for him. Now I'm going to go for you. So can I come in or whatever? Don't expect a goddamn medal. Fucking sick. Are those all dead? Oh, I don't know. Let me ask. Excuse me. Are you guys dead? Yep, the fucking dead. This door, right through here. Shut the fuck up. Yep. There's a son of a bitch right fucking there. No fucking doubt. Dude! Cut the shit. You can't be punching dead bodies. This guy killed my partner. I don't give two goddamn. Wait, does this guy not have a mustache? Fucking idiot. My bad, man. I think it's okay to go. Not yet. My dad was different before my mother died. And we... We all were, I guess, but... I don't know, he wasn't always such a dick. Or... Maybe he was, and my mom made him less, or... Or better, or whatever, but... If he goes, I got no one. You do now, though. It's a lot of bread. Nobody told you to order the fucking ciabatta. Yeah, well, I'm gonna return it. Okay, well, make sure you please, please don't embarrass me in front of that fine-ass cafeteria lady.
I'm gonna exchange this for a potato. Make sure you tell my girlfriend Beyonce in the cafeteria. I'm looking forward to lunch tomorrow too, sorry. Watch your Cape Cod goalie. Hey. Yeah. You coming home? You dying? Cop said you was dying. Cops lie. Doing in my goddamn room. Bye, Daddy. Daddy, call! Nurse! Help! Wayne McCullough. He's here, he's in the hospital! Steady. I just want to talk. Stop! Man, shoot choice. Oh! No running! <laughs> Hard beat. Okay. Hi, Delilah. Take a beat now. I'm here as a friend. Yeah? My name is Sergeant Stephen Geller. I'm from Brockton, just like you. Born there, raised there. Eat Town Spot Pizza, just like you. You like Town Spot Pizza? Cape Guard Cafe is better. By a fucking mile. Well, a lot of people would agree with that. Now look, Wayne, Dell, I'm here, not as a police officer. Are you a police officer? Not officially, right now. I'm a bit off the clock on this. So we don't have to listen to you, officially, right now. <laughs> huh? Look, I've, I've done a lot of thinking about what I was going to say to you. And now... I don't know what I'm going to say to you. I want to give you something that you've never been given. And that's a chance to get out. All right? Before you get caught up in the current of a life you never wanted to begin with. But I need you to trust me. Trust you? Cops lied and said my dad was dying. Yeah, okay. Well, that's why I'm trying to help. Once other police officers get involved, once you get down to Florida and God knows whatever's waiting for you down there. to be like your father.
Whoa! Might be a dad. How oh, well. are Hey, God, Sarge. Let me think about your boy now. No more chances. Next on Wayne. <laughs> what the fuck? Better clean that shit off my car, bitch. Where's the motherfucking kid? What'd the kid do? That little shit charged a round of drinks and a cash advance in my fucking name. Who the fuck you think you ate? You looking out for me. It's nice to have someone else be growing up for once in my life. You want to keep yelling at you? Go find Wayne. Yell at him instead. Hey, what the fuck is going on out here? You look just like your father. 